narcissism spirit. Hmm. It's about me. <laughs> That's what happened to narcissists. He was looking in the water and he thought he was so beautiful and he fell in the water and drowned. <laughs> Do you want to fall in the water and drown because you're so self-centered? Self-centered. Jesus. And God said, you, you could be self-absorbed. Self I'm going to say, Bleh. you could be self-absorbed in me. Yes. And then you won't be a narcissist. Yes. But you'll be Jesus. Yes. You'll be a Jesus. Yes. Witness for Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Homework assignment. Daily scheduled time with God to be silent. Start off 15 minutes, and then once you get acclimated to that, then increase it to 30, then increase it to 45, and then increase it to, and just be quiet. Just be quiet. And watch what happens in the presence of God. Another homework assignment. Turn off the television, the computer, and the phone. Find new ways to relate to others that are not dependent upon words. That's going to be real innovative, too. <laughs> That's going to be real innovative. And guess what's going to happen? Know what's going to spring forth? Creativity. See, because God has called us to be so creative and so unique. Oh, I'm giving y'all a lot of homework. Mm. <laughs> Periodically eat a meal in silence and focus on God and avoid being pulled. Mm -hmm. Eat in silence one meal and avoid being pulled and watch what happens. Do acts of kindness <coughs> without using words. <coughs> Do acts of kindness without using words. And lastly, be quiet for one day. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> be quiet for one day. And then, when you get that under your belt, be quiet for a week. One of my friends uh, went on a uh, retreat in Merlin on last year and she told me the retreat was a quiet retreat and she said it just transformed everything that was within her it just took her to higher heights and deeper depths in God and just understanding the sacredness of quietness before I close there is a, a, a composer and I think I shared this before but it, it came up again there's a composer, and he had one of his compositions where he conducted, but the entire symphony was quiet. Mm -hmm. So you see the full orchestra with the violins and the strings, and I'm sorry for my back, Mother Solomon. Mm -hmm. The violins and the strings, and I mean full orchestra. And they were just being still. Mm -hmm. And he was conducting. His name is John Cage. Thank you, Holy Ghost. John Cage. You can pull it up on YouTube. And he was just conducting. Mm -hmm. And it was just complete. And the Coliseum was packed. Hmm. It looked like it had to be about seven to 800 people. And the orchestra was packed. It was beautiful. And he is conducting in his complete silence. And after I watched that, that YouTube a couple of times, the Spirit of the Lord said, there is music going on. It's going on on the inside. See, sometimes we don't have to hear stuff outwardly, but we can hear it on the inside as we soak in Him. So take out time. Be, be obedient to the homework assignment because you're going to get a test by Evangelist Lane the next time you come. <laughs> <laughs> but take Amen. out time to understand that there is a sacredness in being quiet. You know what? I noticed this one time. <laughs> I was arguing. Yes, I was arguing. I'm not perfect. I don't have no wings under my arms. I'm still 
when you think that God work on me. Just because we saved, sanctified, preaching the word of God, we are we have not arrived. We still going through things. I was arguing with somebody, they was arguing with me, and all of a sudden the Spirit of the Lord said, Shut up. And I was like, Oh no, I can't. I wanna, you know, you'd be like, mm, I wanna get the best of you. Brother. And all of a sudden I just said, BAM. I said, let me just be quiet. And they was going on and on, and they just felt stupid. Because they were going on and on. They was like, she ain't saying nothing. And it was so strategic. I was like, God, that's awesome. But on the inside, it was stuff still rumbling inside of me. But then when I realized it, I was like, that is a spirit of authority. Because all of a sudden, they stopped. And then... We just got quiet and we start laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> but it shows the authority of being quiet mm -hmm. and being silent and how just using that exercise blessed me. Because it gave me an opportunity to sit back and watch this person continue to make a fool out of themselves. Because I was <laughs> like, all right, let me just be quiet, be cool. And then God showed me on the inside the stuff that was still rumbling. He said, just be. And then all of a sudden, I just felt, I felt the peace of God. Mm -hmm. And because the peace of God that flowed through me, it flowed through the situation and it stopped it. So we do carry authority. Amen. And we are. The righteousness of God. Yes, we are. And we are the head yes. and not the tail. Right. See, in Genesis chapter 1, it said that the earth was void and it had no form. And then the God said, let there be light. We got authority in our mouth. That's why God has called us to prophesy the situations and speak those things as though they are. Just like when Ezekiel continuously to prophesy and then things start rumbling, things start changing. It has nothing to do with how you feel. Amen. It has nothing to do with what things look like. We just want to stand before the Lord now and just soak up his presence. Let's just stand before our almighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We just want to stand in his presence with everyone at this time. Stand and just soak in. Hallelujah. Everything that God has equipped us today with. And God, if there's anyone here today that is not saved and that does not know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, is there anyone here today that feels a void? Like, you know, everything seems like it's together, but then there's something missing. That's Jesus. It's like a puzzle with one piece missing. That's how I felt. It was like the puzzle was together and that one piece was missing. And it was such a void. And because of that, the compassion comes forth to minister to the lost. See, when we're soaking in, let's give back. When we're soaking in, let's have compassion for the lost. Yes. When we're soaking in, realize where we were when we didn't know Jesus. Yes. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you and we praise you, thank you Jesus. for ministering to our entire Lord, constitution. Lord. Our minds are renewed. Our hearts are transformed. We have soaked in the word of God. We discern the spirit of the living God that's reigning from precept to precept, from faith to faith, hallelujah, yes. from glory to glory. Mm -hmm. To every woman of God, under the sound of my voice and everything that is connected to them everything that is connected to them God we thank you God that they are in a new place today yes because you have given us authority yes, yes. yes. and we realize that our feet one thing that we can do with our feet we can trample upon the enemy because God said I've given you power I, I 
haven't made you powerless. Yes. I've given you power. Power. Oh Thank you, Lord. To trample upon the scorpions, upon those snakes, upon anything that tries to prohibit you from moving in the things of God. Amen. And Lord, we just thank you. We thank praise you. you for the sweet, Amen. for your sweet aroma. Mm -hmm that is in this place. And Father, thank you for total deliverance. Hallelujah. Yeah. Deliverance psychologically, yes. emotionally, yes. spiritually, yes. physically, yes. socially, yes. financially, yes. every yes. intricate area. We thank you for deliverance. Yes. But most importantly, we thank you for the living word yes. that has watered us mm -hmm. and we have soaked it in. Yes. And Father, we are so hungry, mm. hungry for more of you yes. and less of me, yes. more of yes. you yes. and less yes. of yes. me. Yes. I decrease yes. Yes. that you will increase yes. Yes. in this new season, God. Yes. And as we step our foot, hallelujah, into the new season and the Red Sea departs for us, God. Give us wisdom yes. on how we are to be obedient for these yes. 12 months, which is actually the last 12 months of the year. Yes. So Lord, we we are we're ready. Yes. We're listening. Mm -hmm. We're silent. Yes. <laughs> we're sitting. We're soaking. And we are just being with you, God. Yes. And we thank you. Thank you. And we praise you. And we love you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray. Lord, just once again, this new season, God.